Justin here with Tyrone Burton, and I have a couple of questions to ask you, okay? Okay. So my first question is, how old were you when you first started being in the business? I was about 11 years old, about close to your age, maybe. <laughs> I, was, I am 11. You are 11? Yeah. About your age when I started. Okay. Well, my next question is, you're on the Parenthood, right? right. As TK. Tell us about that. Oh, that was a fun experience. I got a chance to work with Robert Townsend, which is a mm -hmm. director, writer, actor, just like Ben Foster who brought us all here. Mm -hmm. He's a writer, he's a director, and he's an actor. He acted in one of my projects. So that was a blast working on the parent. It was a lot of learning experience. Mm -hmm. Got to do what I enjoyed, and shoot, got paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can't mm -hmm. beat that. And my next question is, um, what other projects have you done? I worked on Esther Raven. Mm -hmm. I played her boyfriend. I worked on um, Passing My Church. Did about three movies. One Flossin, Auto Recovery, Foster Babies. Did a movie called Robin in the Hood that came out last month on the 16th. That's at Blockbuster right now. Okay. Robin in the Hood. Uh, Auto Recovery is at Blockbuster right now. And uh, working on the Tyrone Burton show, my own sitcom. Okay. Like Martin Lawrence, Bill Cosby, Parenthood, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Mm -hmm. Tyrone Burton show. Okay. Yeah. And my last question is, what do you got? What are you working on right now? Right now, currently is the Tyrone Burton show. We're in post production with it, just okay. continuing to perfect it. And I'm here with Lil JJ, and I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions, okay? Absolutely. Okay, so your name is Lil JJ. Your mm -hmm. stage name? Yes, ma'am. But your real name is James Charles Lewis Jr. Right? Mm. Well, I'm a, I'm a third. I'm a third. third. I'm the third. I'm the third generation. You know what I'm saying? Land the SmackDown. On the rest of them. See, the ones before me, they, they can't do what I do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I'm a third. So, how did you get started in comedy? Uh, I started doing comedy when I was 11 years old. Um, my PE teacher, which was Kim Bright, he came to me um, in the hallway one day. And, uh, I mean, he, I guess he's seen, you know, the talent within me before then. Uh, like, not necessarily seeing me do stand-up, but just being a class clown, being in front of everybody. You know, he, uh, he, he, he spotted that it was something in me that could be took it out if the right person got a hold to me and so he started writing and we started writing jokes and stuff together hit the stage and you know from that feeling of me being on stage that one time I knew I was like dang this is something that I can see myself doing making people laugh just worldwide and we took it to the next level with that so how old were you I was I was 11 years old I started 11 years old um once I once I started I I, I, I sent my tape off to a BT and um, I won this competition over there called Coming to the Stage, which was about 12 years old. And um, right after I won Coming to the Stage, beat out all the grown folks. I was the only kid on that. I um, moved on, did Beauty Shop. Um, that was like my that was my first film ever. And um, you know, from that point, I was like, okay, now, now I can see myself doing this whole acting thing. I like this. This is cool, you know. And I, that's why I met my sis Paige, and you know, I met everybody. And you know, I just you know build start building a relationship with more people out here, just to be able to do more things. So you won your own show, Just Jordan? Yeah, I had my own show, Just Jordan, on Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon. Yeah, Just Jordan. Uh, it, it was a family show. Everybody was, you know, everybody loved a, a black family show. Everybody loved uh, it. hit Nickelodeon. It hit the end channel. It hit BET. MTV ran episodes. And, then, you know, it was just a good feeling to know that, you know, I had my own show that everybody, you know, was supporting. So Great cast, of course. <laughs> so you were like a little... Cast member and all that, right? Uh, not really, not really a cast member, but it was like I did like a guest appearance pretty much every episode for one season, and um, it was it was cool. I did a thing called vital information, and uh, you know, just basically giving information, but the craziest random is information. I don't know if random is is a word. I'm not sure if random is is a word, but. Um. So you have several music videos. So give us a little bit about that. Uh, videos wise, uh, you know, what I mean, I've worked, I've worked with plenty of artists, you know, what I mean, videos wise, from Chris Brown to Sean Kingston to Nelly to, you know, what I mean, my list goes on when it comes to videos, and a lot of those people, you know, I work with uh, musically as well, you know, what I mean, because I'm dropping my album soon, which is entitled Party Boy, and you know, a lot of the same people that I did videos with, you know, it's probably more likely gonna show me love on, my, you know, my projects. So. so, what is the experience of you being work, well, working on hip game with? The, the peep game, you gotta yeah. peep the game, you gotta peep, peep the, the game. game. 
you got peep game. <laughs> now my experience so far, uh, it's, it's been a good experience, you know, just to see my man Ben, you know, my, my man Ben, you know, as a young director, a young filmmaker out here, you know, doing his thing, trying to make it happen. You know, I told him I, you know, I wanted to support him on the project because, I mean, he's young coming up, you know, I'm young as well. And it's like, you, 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 you grab, you know, your surroundings, you grab the people you love and the people you, you know, you support and, you know, it'll take you a long way because later on, you know, Ben is going to be one of those people that everybody's going to be, ah, oh, Ben, 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 directed, you know, and it's like, you know, the, the stuff now can take, you know, a long way, you know what I mean? He, he, he'll he come back and be like, I remember when we did this, this, and that, and, you know, to help you out, and I just like to see us young, you know, young entrepreneurs and young everybody out here doing it. So who's your character in this film? In this film, um, I play I play the character of Julius. Um, I mean, he's like a, I'm, I'm gonna say Julius. Like, he want attention, not necessarily just attention, but he feel like he's the man. You know, he don't want nobody stealing his spotlight. You know what I mean? And um, you know, he th he threw a house party. You know, graduation party. Everybody came out, and um, you know, I, I go. You know, you got like, you got like some people performing on stage that. He didn't approve, and it's like you're your own house, and you got people performing on stage. You didn't approve, of course, you're gonna catch your attitude because you're like they're still in my spotlight, and that's not what he wanted. So it's it's a cool character to play. I've never really been no angry into myself type person, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like it. Well, thank you for having. Well, thank you for doing this with me, and check us out on Young Black Stars. Henry Th Henry Lua. Leah D and Henry Th T. I'm here with Paige. Hi. And I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions. Okay. okay. Go ahead. My first question is, how did you get? How did you start getting? How did you start being the actor? Well, I was about three or four, and when we went out, I was a show off, and I was just like a little family clown, and I just made my family laugh. So you know. One day, I guess we were at a restaurant, and my mom said, you know what, if you're gonna act funny and stuff, and you're gonna be a great actress, then we're gonna get paid for it. So she put me in the acting business. Okay. My mm -hmm. next question is, you, um, tell us about some of your work. Okay, well, my very first commercial was Kmart, and that was shot in New York. Okay. My very first movie was Cradle to the Grave with DMX and Jet Li, that was shot here. And my very first TV show, hmm, that's a good one because I think it was George Lopez that was also shot here, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. <laughs> and then I also did Beauty Shop and Cat in the Hat, and I was doing Everybody Hates Chris for a while, for about three years, and a lot of commercials when I was younger, and that's that. And what? And can you tell us a little about Everybody Hates Chris? Sure. Okay, so. I played on it for three years, and I played the role of Tasha, who is like Chris's. Mm, she was very hard to explain. They liked each other, but it was always like a up and down situation. Finally, at the end of the show, they got together, but they broke up again. You get it? So it was like she was his love interest, basically, the girl next door. Okay. And what is your experience about this movie, Pink Game? Oh, this has been really fun. We shot a couple of, what, a month ago, and Mackie has been great. He's like a big brother, and Ben's been great. And um, everything's just been really fun. It's like, it's nice to be a set of full of kids. It's like everybody is a, a minor doing this, it's not like adults. So it's like we can all relate to each other and get along and joke when we want to, but be serious when we want to. So it's been fun. And what is your role in the film? My role is the younger sister of Mackie, who, she, she has a smart mouth, she can't stand her brother, and she's always making jokes and making fun of him and just being a brat, but she has love for her brother, and you can kind of see that at the end of the movie. Okay, so thank you for doing this interview You're with us. And this has been Leah D and Henry 3TV on YoungBlackStars.org with the Z.